Okay, I'm going to go through the Clover um, bootloader that's needed to boot KB Lake on the Dell DT3668 i5-7400. Okay, so it's important that if you don't get the Clover uh, correctly, you will have kernel panic. SM BIOS. iMac. 18.2, which is for this particular one, i5-7400, okay? And if your graphic is 59.12, so this is the one. So what you're going to do is you're going to shake this, you're going to shake this, and then you click OK. And what you're going to do is you're going to export this one, save as. So you're going to put config 18.2. Okay, right here. You will see the SM BIOS for 18.2. Okay, got this one? Okay, the Clover folder. If you don't have a Mac, you can go to my website or you can check out all of my video on how to create one. Uh, Clover bootloader and the installer, USB installer from Windows 10. Okay, I have all the tutorial on that. But right now, let's go through this Clover um, folder to get this KB Lake 5912 to boot. Okay. You have the ACPI. So inside the ACPI, you have a patch folder. And this one right here, the SDT and SSDT, I got from Read Write Everything. So I have a tutorial on the Read Write Everything on how to extract all of these from Windows. And by the way, since I am here, this SSDT here, is generated by the PR Gen. The important one is driver 64 UEFI. This folder right here, inside you must have either the Aptos Fix 64 or Aptos Fix 2 drive. So either one you can use whatever boot. You need the NTFS and you may need the NTFS Plus if you want. But this one I've been using for a long time. So, And you must have the low MAM fix. Uh, I don't think you need this, but I left it in there because in the config file we're going to remove it. And you need this one. Okay. So I think these are a must. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Folder is called Kex. Inside here, they will load for you all the type from 10.6 to 10.11 and the other folder, which a lot of people got confused and put the the stuff in here and they don't work. So even with 4, 11, 4, I only need a folder called 1012 because this is 10.12, 5, important one. Fake SMC, this one's on Rehab Man, 
and the version newest one is 6.25333 well you can also use 332 okay that is the must to have Lilu is 1.15 but the info list the bundle compatible version is 1.1.0 or the bundle version string short is 115. You make sure that all of the CACs like this one, now open this up, this one will call out the Lilo 1.1.0. So this one will match with the Lilo 1.1.5. Or you can change this one to 1.1.5 also if it doesn't work, okay? Because the version we use Lilo is 1.1.5. But this one also works. If it's different, you got to change. The five important one is fake SMC, Intel Graphic DV MT, Graphic Fix Up, and Lilo or Shiki also. That's five. Okay. You have the ACPI. You have the driver correctly. You have the CAX correctly. We need the config file. So the ACPI. DSDT, you use the original one, DSDT right here. You don't have to do anything. The fix is, I only fixed three things. That was from the O. And also, the SSDT, when you load the installer, you may turn this one off. It says to no and no here. But yes, it works. If you put sorted order, all of your original boot, disable GFX firmware, and she key GVA. Oh, make sure ignore NVRAM boot must be a no. You got to have this one. I'm going to use Voodoo so the audio doesn't matter. Inject 3 is fine. Uh, fake ID, I mean. This one is KB leg 5912-8086. is Intel. USB. All these I check. GUI. This is a uh, 1920 by 1080. That's fine. The theme. That's normal. The graphics. Platform ID. 5912 0000. You can inject Intel. No, it still works. But yes, it still works. So I leave it in here. Yes. The CAX is to patch. I'll have three things in here. Number one is external icon patch. Number two is 15 port limit to 26 number three I don't know if it works because I put uh, KB Lake in here so maybe it's not working actually this one was for the uh, Skylark so this one right here if you go into your computer you will find the Ethernet Mac address uses your Mac address, okay. Also, if you go to read write everything, you will see they have a GUID special ID on the EFI. This is a particularly unique to your EFI to your computer okay so use that number get 
the serial number here, you paste it in here, and then you add five more number. So I add I7400. So this is the board serial number, and it's also the MLB. This one is for iMessage and stuff like that. So this is iMac 18.2. Inject kecks. Make sure that's Boolean. Yes, you can inject all the kecks. And inject system ID. Yes. So your system ID will be this. So if you get this one like this, yours will boot and it's painless. It took me a few nights to try on error, but later I found out a problem. So if you get this one correctly, this folder right here, the clover correctly, yours will boot and you will have a nice um, desktop iMac 18.2. Okay, that's it.